afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video the series where i obviously unbox my various streetwear sneaker and sometimes even jewelry purchases on the channel in today's video i'm going to be unboxing a all of quite a few shirts actually <laughs> what i'm going to be unboxing today is the haul of Stussy button-up rayon shirts that I did from General Pants. Well, this isn't, uh, what, what did I say I was going to get after I got the uh, capital button-up? I said I was going to get a First Arrows piece, wasn't I? I was going to get some First Arrows jewellery. <laughs> well, that has been put on hold, guys, quite obviously. Um, yeah, I was inspired by a video that I did recently to do a pickup of these Stussy button-up shirts instead of the First Arrows jewellery, but um, definitely next. I, I, I can't see anything in the foreseeable future that I want to pick up uh, over some First Arrows jewellery. So um, yeah, I've picked up these Stussy button-ups. I've picked up uh, a lack of colour uh, hat as well. That's on its way. And then after that, I'm going to be going for some First Arrows jewellery because I really do want like a full set of First Arrows jewellery by the end of the year. And, you know, it's halfway through April now, so I better get cracking, better get into it and better start picking up some of their jewellery because their jewellery is fantastic. But uh, yeah, in today's video, I'll be unboxing my latest assortment of goods that I've picked up, which as the title has kind of suggested, it is a series of Stussy button ups. Um, I, I, what I did recently is I did the uh, top five favorite pieces that I wore in my from my wardrobe from February of 2023, a very, very hot final month of summer. Now, in summer, more particularly February, I was tackling my outfit outfits in a very uniform outwear approach. So I was wearing like the same tank tops, the same pants, uh, and then the thing that I was changing up the most was the accessories, the overshirts, and just the pieces that I threw on over the top of uh, those tank tops. And it did create some versatility and actually create some really nice little outfits for summer without having me having to go out and buy, you know, like all these crazy different pants, all these crazy different like undershirts or anything like that. Um, it allowed me to have a large assortment of outfits by just utilizing what I had in my wardrobe at the time. And once I did that video, I was like, oh man, like as much as I loved wearing the button up shirts that I did wear in February, it'd be nice to have a couple more to be able to switch it up a little bit because I was wearing the same ones quite a lot and I wanted to change it up a little bit. And I had these Stussy ones that I picked up today uh, on my watch list for a while. And the main reason I hadn't picked them up for a while was just because I was like, oh, I don't really want to pay the retail price for them. You know, like they're nice, but they're not that nice. And then General Pants had a like flash 20% off sale and all the shirts that I was interested in basically went on sale. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, look, I didn't want to pay the retail. It's free shipping. It's 20% off my total order. I'm paying very little for five Stussy rayon button up shirts. This is fantastic. This will fill up my wardrobe for summer and I won't have to worry about at least the, um, the top half of me for summer. I still need to worry about buying um, a bunch of linen pants for summer. If you guys have any recommendations for men's US 40 linen pants, comment section below, please help me out because I'd love to expand my wardrobe a bit with more linen pants for summer. Um, I know I'm buying all of this in the wrong season, but I'm preparing for that at the end of this year. You got to, you know, prepare for the future. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you got those linen pants suggestions. I really want some like flare denim and linen pants for summer. And it's been a struggle to find those in a US 40. I'm going to be real. It's quite difficult. So um, I'm going to see if I can slim down to a 38. But yeah, I, I will also still go on the hunt for uh, size 40. So let me know in the comment section below if you have those two pant options for me. But uh, yeah, that's basically the whole reason for why I picked up all these Stussy round button ups. It's to prepare for the summer seasons and the way that I dressed in summer of uh, 22 slash three 
is the reason for why I'm picking these up because I think moving forward I'll continue to dress that way because it was a really nice way to um, have some outfits for summer that were a little bit more exciting than just your traditional men's outfits in summer of shorts and t-shirts so yeah let's just get into it guys um, I'll unbox all five of them now and talk about why I like each five of them let's get into it time to shut up and start unboxing eh? <laughs> okay so there is two individual orders are uh, one of them was at my local general pants so they shipped one of the two xl shirts to me and then the other four were uh, in a different state so they had to ship those separately i didn't want to do two different videos for the two different um packages i was like nah look it's one haul it just came in two different packages so we'll get into the first one which i think i know which shirt it is um like i have a, a rough guess of what it is uh they also all even though they're size 2xl they do come in quite small bags because they're rayon shirts super thin materials not you know going to take up a lot of space we'll take that out we'll see nothing left in the bag cool 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 chuck the bag over there the multicolor one i love that description multicolor i don't the, the, a lot of them are multicolor okay well i think it is the one that i yes 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 okay so the first one that we got I've had my eyes on this one for a long time. I really liked it when it came out and I thought it was going to sell out because of the design, but apparently I'm just on my own with this one. Apparently no one else thinks this is a cool shirt, which pff, fine, <laughs> makes it better for me. It's the Stussy Rayon button up shirt where it looks like, you know, like a desert, very blue sky. And then in this desert, there's two ice cube looking die just chilling sitting there melting away very red i really like the uh the design on that one there's nothing on the back but i feel like you don't need it like you've just got that separation of the two colors on the back but i just yeah i don't know something about that design of the two ice cubes just sitting there really spoke to me and i do really like stussy button-up shirts and even more so when they include their iconic motifs into their rollover designs like this, like the iconic, um, you know, die. I think that's really nice. Like I have a lot of Stussy button ups, as we can see at the end there, that don't feature iconic Stussy motifs, but they're still fantastic shirts. And to have one that also includes a motif in it, love it. So we'll get, we'll try that one on eventually, but I'll just showcase that one again. That's the first one there. Fantastic, we'll put that one off to the side here. That rayon is actually significantly heavier than the other Stussy rayon button-up shirts that I own. So maybe it's a blend, maybe it's not 100% rayon, which is fine, as long as it's, my whole thing is, is that as long as it's lighter than cotton, that's what I, um, that's what I need it for. Okay, let's get into this one, guys. So this will be the big order. This will be the one that has four of them in it. Yep, I can see them there. We'll chuck nothing left in that bag. Cool, we'll chuck the bag over there. What have we got? Yep, the other four. Okay, let's get into it. Disposable bag. Okay, these ones are a lot more lightweight. But we will chuck that there. So the next one that I have up, I really like the color of this one and just the design in general. We have this all over poppy one. This one was not very popular at all. It sat there, it sat in most of its sizes. It went down to like below 30 bucks because people just didn't want it. But I really like the design on it. I really like the colors on it. Um, I'm not gonna wear it buttoned up though because I think this one looks way better unbuttoned but used as more like an overshirt than an actual shirt. And when I style it up next, I'll show you what I mean by that one. But here is the all over print design. Simple, just like a blue poppy field all over it. Like that. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Even got that, uh, where is it? Stussy Australia. I, I would love to have a conversation with um, someone at Stussy and talk about like, what is actually the difference between like Stussy uh, Australia versus like Stussy US. I feel like it's just got to be a branding thing, right? Like that it's not manufactured differently or anything like that. Because imagine that. Imagine if like Stussy Australia was manufactured worse than like Stussy America. I'd be buying it all off Grail then because I'd want the American one. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. I think it's just like they, maybe they have different suppliers or different warehouses for the different regions or something. I don't know. But an interesting conversation that could be had for sure. Uh, the next one that I have, number three, same design, but in the red. 
Um, red and orange, of course. Uh, I don't know which one I have preference over yet. I do really like the red one, but it is a lot louder than the blue. But it's like summer, you know, the sun's gonna be out, you're having fun, you want a loud shirt to go with it. I mean, not like now, because it's literally autumn and it's cold and raining outside and, you know, the outfit I'm gonna put together is definitely not ideal for the weather outside now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm preparing myself for that summertime and I really like this one. The colors on it are really nice. The design on it's really fun. I just, yeah, I just love these all over print button up shirts. So we'll put that one over there. That's number three. Um, you know, I'm moving to this one next, actually. This one here. Now, I didn't have, I noticed that a lot of my button up shirts don't go with my very monochromatic look of wearing either black or white. So I decided to get some button up shirts that have a lot more white in it uh, this time around because I do have a couple that have a lot of black in it as we can see down over there. But not a lot that have white in it. So I really like this one just for it's like fun, crazy little design all over it there. What we have is this one here. Features like these little, I don't even know how to describe it, these little like, uh, just these little drawings inside these black circles, these little like goofy little like, I was gonna say seashell, but that's probably not the best way to put it. Like, surf motifs in a way. Um, it is very on brand for Stussy, I gotta say. Like, it does look uh, very much like something that a surfer would wear, or like a skater would wear. But yeah, I just really like the like design that's all over it and how it looks there. So I decided to pick that one up. This one I had my eyes on for a while, but I, I, I didn't want to pay retail for that. I was like, eh, if it's on sale, I'll pick it up. If it's not on sale, I don't care. <laughs> now this one, the last one that I have here, this one, from what I know, features on a bunch of other Stussy pieces, this design that's on this shirt. It features on a fleece, and I love that fleece as well. And it features on, um, don't know if it features any on any other pieces. It might just be the fleece that this design features on, but it looks really nice as a button-up shirt as well as a fleece. And I'll show that to you as well. So the design I think is technically called the floral rayon shirt, which I mean, that seems to be an overarching theme here that all the ones that I'm buying are very summery, but it is like a piece that you do wear in summer a lot. Uh, here it is here. I don't know if you recognize it from the fleece. The fleece, it's probably less apparent because it's got that like fleece texture to it. But here it is here. It has Stussy written under the flowers. It has these huge, uh, gigantic flowers all over it. Uh, on the back, it features the same all over print as you'd expect. Uh, yeah, that's it there. Um, I think the fleece is a hooded fleece from memory. I don't know if they also did like a, a collared one or a not hooded one, but I think it is a hooded fleece there. But um, yeah, no, I really just like the flower design on it. I'd love to pick up the fleece someday, but that was more of a hot item than the button up shirt was. Like the fleece sold out instantly, but the shirt stayed. But I really like the shirt design as well, but hopefully one day I can pick up the fleece. I would like a good collection of Stussy fleeces because they make some really nice fleece designs and stuff like that. But they are a hot item. They are hard to come by, so I'll just expand my Stussy button-up collection for the time being. Because <laughs> these are fantastic. This will have me set for like summers into the future for many, many years now. And I'll probably be picking up either more of them or more capital ones moving forward as well. But uh, yeah, fantastic. That is all five of them unboxed. And now that I've unboxed them all, I'll show you guys what I mean with the uniform dressing approach that I have and how these can be so easily interchangeable with how I'm going to be dressing for spring summer moving forward. Okay guys, here we are. I feel like a game show presenter, but here we are. <laughs> Here's all five of them across there. We've got the ice one, the two poppy ones, and the two white ones at the back there. Um, how am I going to be wearing those in summer? Well, with this outfit, maybe slightly changed moving forward for summer of 23 to 24. Um, but this is what essentially what I was wearing in summer of 22 to 23. A tank top, the Uniqlo one that I unboxed a while ago, neither the white or the black, very flowy linen or uh, very light polyester pants. I don't have any cotton pants that are really lightweight. All my cotton pants are like denim, chinos, things like that. I, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I want to expand into that more, but 
it's it's finding that size 40 right to fit me um I, i've just got to find them so again if you've got those size 40 linen pants that you're gatekeeping send them via instagram dm or send me it somewhere because i need them i need more pants in a size 40 to fit me with that one so um this is how i was looking in summer of 22 to 23 how i want to change it in 23 to 24 is uh i want to buy more brimmed caps i want to get more exciting belts and i want to get some eyewear i think some uh more exciting eyewear would elevate the accessory side a little bit make my summer outfits a little bit more exciting for sure but um that that's how i'm looking to move moving forward this is how i was looking in summer of 22 to 23 and it is how i would wear these pieces here um but as mentioned at the start of the video uh, i do have a lack of color brimmed hat uh, on the way and i will definitely be wearing that hat with these shirts and this ensemble uh, moving forward because i think that's a really good way that um those summer outfits will come together a little bit better um i do see just to add on that note a lot of instagram posts and a lot of guys wearing caps with this ensemble and button-up shirts like this but i i guess i just have it in my head in some way that like these hats or caps are so associated to sport it just looks a bit weird with me rocking this and then rocking button-up shirts but we can still try it like i'll have it on standby and see how it goes so we'll dive into this first shirt showcase how this one would be worn so i'll be rocking it like that chucking it on um it'll obviously be the statement piece like this is the loud piece of the whole outfit but i'm going to stay cool because there's no overlapping of layers in my armpits the material is rayon so as you can see when i move look how flowy that is like it's not rigid it moves with my body um it's very lightweight, not as lightweight as other rayon shirts I have in my wardrobe, like my Capital One and my other Susie ones, but not heavy. I, you know, as I say, like, look at that. It just moves, it moves with the body. It's a really nice material. Uh, I'll showcase it all around. Here we are here. Very nice. Like I, I can feel there's heaps of room here and here, so it's not gonna get sweaty and stuck. Um, at the moment, unfortunately, I just have the cap, so then I'd be rocking it like that or backwards if that's the preference like that this is still fine but as i said i've got it in my head that like caps sporty i don't like how this looks with it because i'll be wearing this with my thursday boots that i unboxed on the channel quite recently and that whole look i feel like that look would be elevated with a brimmed hat instead of a cap so i mean i could actually how do I put it? Streetwear style this outfit more. Instead of wearing my Thursday boots, I could easily go cons. Like, I could easily just throw on some cons with this. And yeah, okay. Maybe that's why I feel that way. I, yeah, this will work way better. But if I wanted to elevate it, change the tone of it, of the outfit, I'd go the Thursday boots and a brimmed hat, which is more what I want my look to be in summer. And I think that's why. So yeah, I think if I was, depending on the day, if I was feeling the cap, I'd wear the cons. If I was feeling the Thursday boots, I would go a brimmed hat, which is coming. As I've expressed a few times now, it's coming. The lack of color brimmed hat is coming. But yeah, this is how I'd rock this one. I mean, I guess I can show you guys how I'm gonna rock the rest of them, but it's the same. It's literally the same. As I said, the whole reason I bought these is because they're so interchangeable with my uniform outfit. I can just throw this one on. I can throw that one on. I can throw this one on. That's the whole reason I've, I've bought them, just because it's so easy to interchange. But I'll do it just for the video's sake, just to show how they look on. Uh, they're all 2XL, by the way, and I'm like, I don't even know, 6'5 and, and big. <laughs> but um, let's just dive into all four of the others, and I'll showcase to you guys how they look. All right, so we got this next one. We got the blue poppy one. And yeah, I love it. It's, um, I noticed that these ones that I bought have a big Stussy tag attached to the pocket. Now, a minor detail change. The other ones that I have, I think either have smaller ones or don't have those details at all. But, um, you know, you gotta let the people know that it's Stussy. If this video wasn't clear enough already. <laughs> but there we go. I would rock it like this. Um, 
I think the contrast between the black pants and the white tank top is good. I feel like if I went black tank, tank top and black suit pants, it'd just be too dark for the shirt, because then the shirt is like really in your face, while at least with this like white tank top, it gives it a little bit of color. I just really like it. This like this is exactly how I'm gonna be dressing for summer. Um, I've been wanting to dress this way for summer for a while now, because I was just sick and tired of my outfits in summer being shorts t-shirt and there's nothing wrong with that like i definitely still do it i still rock just a pair of like chino shorts with like a really oversized band tee or a really oversized shirt for summer but i wanted something a little bit more fun something a little bit more for like social occasions like going out for drinks going to a party like i wanted it to be a little bit more exciting so yeah this has definitely helped in that regard and i'll be doing exactly that so i'll do a twirl showcase to you guys how the color looks this is the blue poppy one. We're slowly moving them over there. As soon as I wear them, we're moving them over there and moving them off that rack. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's how it would look. And moving forward, if I pick up more rayon shirts, this is exactly how I would wear them. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. I did kind of mention that I didn't want the buttoned up look. How do we feel about it? Okay, I'll button it up. Actually, it's not that bad. I thought it was maybe from the model and how the model rocked it. It, it just didn't appeal to me, but you know what? Buttoned up? It's alright as well. It's alright. I do feel a bit... I do feel like I'm in an episode of The Sopranos, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, going to go collect some, some drug money or somebody that is owed or something like that. But maybe that's just like the whole tank top under the button-up shirt and suit pants, like, look. Yeah, maybe that's what's giving it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well... There we go, that's that one showcased. We'll move on to the next one, which will of course be the red version. But it's on, I'm actually really enjoying this one a lot more. This is like, I, I like this one on how the model was rocking it. Actually, that's kind of funny. How the model has rocked it is literally how I'm rocking it right now, except he's wearing shorts. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Right, I'm on the same mind as the general pants stylist, guys. There we go. <laughs> But there is the red one, showcase there. Um, beautiful colors though. Love both the red and the blue one that is now down here. And I would wear both, easily wear both. I feel like this is, like me picking up both the colors is the same way that I treated the, um, oh, see if I can get it out of this very, very full wardrobe here at the moment. It feels like, you know, this one here where I bought the, the white and the blue version of that one as well. Yeah, God, I'm loving my rayon shirts, man. Like, I'm just, I'm really getting into them. Rayon shirts are just, just the go. I mean, look, maybe you guys dress very differently for summer, but this is definitely how I would want to do it. And I'm really enjoying it because it's just, it's lightweight, it looks nice, and the colors are fantastic. I'm, I'm hoping to pick up some more rayon shirts from Supreme, actually, but um, extra large ones are hard to come by. And people that do have them don't want to let go of them. I'd really love to see how like Supreme Rayon feels and just grab like some Supreme designs and stuff like that. Um, hopefully in the future I can pick up some Supreme button ups from over the past couple seasons because there's been some um, some fantastic Supreme button up shirts that are uh, or Rayon ones more specifically that I've highlighted over the years and yeah would love to pick those up at some point but yeah going back into it here is red one I'm very nice feeling very flowy as we can see just moves around that's what I love about the material lightweight and it flows fantastic that's that one showcased we'll now move into probably the one that might actually work the best with the outfit but we'll see how that goes let's dive into that one and see how it looks I really like the white on this one this one's crazy <laughs> yeah like it, it, they're two different colors of white I, th I guess this one looks more like a chalk yeah, this is, this is, I, I knew this one would work. That's the one critique I have of Stussy button-ups. This fabric that is where the buttons are tied down to, I'd really like it if they would just sew it to the actual thing so it doesn't come out. But anyway, minor, minor things. Maybe if I learn how to sew, I could do that myself. Probably a good thing I should probably learn. But uh, yeah, this is the white one with the... How do I describe these little designs on it? I put it as like surfer motifs, like fun little surfer graphics inside of circles. I don't even know how to put it. 
but it's fun. It's fun. I like it. So it is there. Okay, it's there. The 2XL is a really nice fit on me. I do have some extra large ones, and I can fit into the extra large ones, but I like the 2XL for the length of the sleeves, the, the size of the sleeves. Um, it's not as tight on my body as an extra large is, but I can do an extra large. Like, if there was a design that I just absolutely love, I would pick it up in an extra large if that was the biggest size, but if they have the option, the 2XL is the go. That's definitely what I'm feeling more. But, um... Yeah, there's that one there. Would love to hear your thoughts on which one's the best one so far. Move into our final one, which I'm really keen to chuck on, which is the floral one. Really like this one. The floral one, this is a fun time as well. Uh, I really like the blue and the orange that comes through on the white. Would my, I guess my only thing is that I would have liked like the, the Strucci logo like removed because I, I like like a subtle approach, you know, like if you know, you know, not a whole, you know, let's chuck a Strucci logo underneath each flower, but it's not to the point where I'm like, nah, I don't want this anymore because of that. But um, yeah, I'll showcase this one as well. Little twirl as you do, showcasing the back of it, probably need to keep these. Uh, nice and well on some uh, hangers because I don't want them to get all crinkled because it's a pain trying to iron out rayon shirts because you got to put it at like the lowest temperature because you don't want to burn it because the material is like look how thin that is it's just thin and it flows so got to be careful with rayon but it's so worth it like um, the main reason I pick these up is because like normally a Stussy rayon shirt in Australia is like a hundred Australian dollars but with the general pants sale that they had and with just how much they were already discounted, um, I picked up some of these shirts for less than 30 Australian dollars. And some of them were like 30 to 40, which is just crazy, right? So all up, all five, I probably spent like just over 200 um, with free shipping and everything like that. But normally if I paid for these for a hundred each, this would be a $500 order right here. So I got it for less than half of what it would have cost at retail, which, that's why I was super happy to pick up five of them because I was like, yo, let's get this bulk order in. <laughs> but yeah, very, very happy with all five of them. Um, I'm going to be wearing them heaps in summer. I've just now just obviously got to save them in my wardrobe for that period of time because um, I bought them in autumn, which is the wrong season. But I've got autumn covered because like, look at all these hoodies and, and jackets and stuff. Like we set for that season, we're not set for this season, which is what I'm just trying to prepare myself for. So that's why I'm buying that lack of colors uh, hat, why I'm gonna be looking into eyewear. Um, and it's why I'm keen to get that first arrows jewelry as well. And cause I feel, feel like that'll elevate this outfit. And then I wouldn't mind some like interesting Western belts and stuff. Um, again, just things I'm going to have to look into for that summer and spring look. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of the five guys. Uh, which one was your favorite? Do you own any of them? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on any of these down in that comment section below. And that's them all unboxed, guys. There we are. <laughs> again, feeling like a, like a game show host doing that. But yeah, that is all five of them unboxed. Uh, for the longest time, I've wanted a large assortment of rayon shirts for summer. I was originally trying to do it with Capital and I still want to buy a lot of the Capital ones, but they are a lot more expensive than a lot of other brands. So I feel like progressively over time, I'll pick up all the Capital ones that I want to pick up. I did pick up one of them recently though, uh, that one that's just at the end there, and I did unbox that on the channel. Um, but now that I've got like the large assortment of button up shirts, thankfully, the general pants as they always stock uh, 2XLs, Stussy and have them at a really good price. I think now for those outfits I need to move away from picking up those button up shirts and move into the headwear, the glasses, the, uh, the accessories, the belts because um, I feel like that's where the outfits are going to be elevated there. So I'll have to look for again going back to the pants for the 50th time large linen US 40 pants or polyester, light polyester. Um, and then for the rings, I'll get from First Arrows, as I've talked about. And then I will get the belts from, I'll have a look into some like American Western um, belt design brands. If you've got some recommendations on belt brands, put them in the comment section below and I'll suss them out. Um, hopefully they come in like a size 40 waist and stuff, but I assume if they're American, they probably will. 
Uh, and then eyewear. I'll have to go through a couple of just like eyewear boutiques and find some eyewear that'll suit my face and suit those outfits. I think circular glasses will look really nice with those type of outfits. But um, if you have any recommendations on what you think will look really nice with summer outfits like that, uh, let me know in the comment section below. We'll go from there. But uh, yeah, guys, that is it all unboxed. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on which one was your favorite. Was it, you know, uh, the the dice one, the poppy ones, or the white surf design one, or the floral one. Let me know your thoughts on any of those button ups and any ways that I was thinking of styling them down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering everything that I am unboxing on the channel and what I'm looking to pick up next, you just got to give me the three indicators I keep asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below saying, show us what you're unboxing or something like that. I don't know, something on those lines. <laughs> and the best indicator of them all, a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone that I set in the previous video of 3,615 subs. And... Oh, I did it with the video stuffing up. If you go watch the video, the footage didn't render properly and it's a nightmare. It was fine on the playback and my editing software, but I guess it just like stuffed up when it rendered and I didn't check it because I was like, oh, it's fine in the playback. I'll upload it. It's close to the drop time of Palace. I need to get it uploaded now. And look how that how that turned out. So sorry about that, guys. I'll have to rewatch the footage for this one just to make sure it comes out okay. And uh, yeah, well, back to the whole point. Help us reach 3615 before the end of April. But that's everything I got to say about these shirts, guys. Uh, now that I've got those and I've got my lack of colors hat on the way, I'll redo like a showcasing of how I'm going to style it all. And hopefully that'll turn out okay. And then I will look into picking up some first arrow jewelry and probably some sunglasses as well for summer. Um, and maybe pick up some capital pieces in between all that as well, because I love picking up more and more capital. <laughs> One of my favorite brands to pick up from. But uh, yeah, that's everything I really got to say about them, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Stussy video, until the next unboxing video in general, I'll catch you later.